Hi and welcome back to another video. It is Wednesday the 1st of March 2023, currently 5.06 p.m. First change that I'm noticing here is the new mobile sign. I've got photos of it taken down the old one. Now they've got a brand new one. Looks like it's gonna be one that lights up for one. Much better than the old one. So we'll see how that goes. See how long it takes for it to be lit up and everything. That looks a lot better. A lot nicer than the old one. So the old one was part of history. I've got photos and video of it. to the other and then there's the, the temporary one they put in well all of this was getting done and yeah okay so walking into town and around town if I see any changes I'll take some more video so I'll be back when I find some more changes they finally replaced this old bin here with a um, little early bin near that Bali Tropical North and the mobile just there across from 180 should be ones on the other side of the road where they need it the most but most people walk on the 180 side okay so next up is Rebel Coffee's new signage next to Venezuela Budget Backpackers across from Pets Domain next to the tattoo place with their new signage up. Been up for a couple of weeks now. Got the photos of it before. Now it's video time. Doing the changes. If you can. Good day is Blue Ribbon Pies used to be. Smart phone, or smarter computer solutions as they used to be called within there. Rebel Coffee Cakes by Kylie. Is that Kylie Farinelli? Have a go off. Just to show a bit of context of where that is. I like to show around. Put your any ink to a hub. And that here. We'll go on to the next location. Okay, so we've got the toilet block at King George Park. See they've closed off this part where people used to sleep. There's the toilets. King George Park. Put cage doors on both sides, which is good. Okay, let's go to the next location. Okay, so we're coming up on Ice Cream Junction. This is going to be people coming out of there. Oh. Don't like to have to brush my videos. Ice Cream Junction Next to the Barbershop and EB Games Next to the Coles Car Park there Okay We've got Terry White Camp Mart here I have shown that before but I haven't shown it in full detail because there's someone sitting at the seat near it so We'll show what we can As much as we can we might show some of these gardens too because the council has been taking away a lot of gardens so we'll show, show these as well like there used to be a nice garden here, it's gone so this was Kalana Pharmacy for people from way back this is where Angie's Sewing Centre used to be the corner of Owen and Eda Street so we'll show where that nice garden used to be. You'll see that in other videos of mine, the actual garden when it was still there. Yeah, the council tends to be doing that a lot lately, taking away gardens. So we'll show a few of them while we can, while they're still here. And they're not overly maintaining the ones that still exist. Looking scraggly. Unkept some of it. All right, we'll go to the next location. Available. 
thought here that the florist must have suit higher now. Across there, and you can see up top, above Shirley Florist and Rothley's Pharmacy where they're fixing up the awnings and stuff. I think a lot of them will end up like that eventually, these awnings, because they're not maintained. And they're quite old, so we're going up to see if Jaggards are still in here, because they're supposed to be running the RSL kitchen. The restaurant. Have a look, a quick look here. Just up next to Recent Co Butcher. I assume they're still in there as well, which would be smart. They're both. So we're closed. Signage is still there. And all the menu and stuff still on the window, so. like they're going to do both. The actual cafe stuff still in there, you can see. And you can still see the signage from the book centre across there. And the uh, cover walkway, which needs a good clean. Okay, so I had someone asking the other day where to go to buy little cables and connections and things like that in, in Edisville. Well, this is where you go. Leading Edge Electronics. Closed on the 2nd and 3rd. And okay, so I've got a sign. So they're closed 2nd, 3rd, 4th of March 2023. But that's the place to go to get all your little electronics and things that you can't find anywhere else. He'll order them in. Dr. Leonard. It's next to Debbie's wedding florist shop and Anita's gifts and souvenirs. It's bachelor mode. It's closed down. I think they're completely closed down now. So have a look. I hope these people to go past. here next to the local history museum you don't very often see this open so get some videos I walk past anyway that's what it looks to book as as well smell pizza and that from there. Yeah, this is the reason why I normally do my videos when there's no one much around it. Like Sunday afternoon or somewhere like that. Because it's very hard to do video when you've got a lot of people around. How trendy. Yep. I've gotten rid of this garden across here. It's one of the things I wanted to show. Yeah, there's a good reason why I do the videos at certain times. Because of the way people act, the way people treat you and that. You can see what they've got rid of this perfectly good garden. It'll just grow into weeds, I guess. It's pretty sad to see. Used to be quite nice. Which 
young mate's got a helmet on. He's on skids though. Showing off. He's going well over 25. Which is the legal speed limit. 12 on a footpath. 12 kilometres an hour on a standard footpath. Up to 25 on a uh, like a bike path and that. And there's also an age limit legally. He's on, I'm sure he's underage. I forget what the limit is. I think it's like nine or ten years old. So anyway, we're gonna have a look at where the Thai cafe restaurant used to be with the old coffee club. So we'll cross over and have a look at that. Kitchen and the new management is the RSL. It's supposed to be the Jaguars lot that are moving in there. Going by their post on Facebook. So I was wondering before whether we're going to have both open. As long as the quality doesn't change, it further will get better. So this is the Thai kitchen one. I'm not going to try and say the name. I'm going to butcher it. Coffee club used to be. Closed down a few weeks ago. So we'll have a quick look in there, what we can see. Got the stuff still in there. See the signs. We've been closed four weeks from Monday the, the holidays. And it's that, but apparently they were closing down for good, people are saying. And you can see in there. Stuff all packed up. Hard to see places closed down like that, so it's quite popular at times. Go in what we can, where we can, while anything's still in there. So you get a bit of an idea what it was like. Head off table and chairs outside. They see it in other videos, earlier videos, for the information. Well, it'll show up the reflections. You can pause to read it. And there you go. So that's that all closed down. Wonder if they're finished down. Oh, they might go for that walk down the Esplanade like I showed last time. Down past the ambulance or the fire station and all that, where the um, where they were doing up the footpath, and we'll come back across. It will go down here, up past the MP, and then down along. Down the MP, what we can anyway. Of the Imperial Tavern in Israel that's been done up. Any show we can. There's people in there. But bear with me. Trouble doing it. Who knows? Publicity shows the changes. What an outdoor seating. That's well, quite nice. It's actually quite impressive. The Foxtel, Fox Sports, and that on there. Okay. So it's the corner of Grey Street and Fitzgerald Esplanade. You've got old Robert Johnson there. I don't know how well that shows up with the sun. But we'll go along with it. We're doing up, doing things with the footpath and pipes and all that. We'll come back and see if we can see any other changes around. And then we'll finish the video. So we'll go out where it says footpath closed up here. Prepare to stop. for over a week because I've been sick so I had about a week and a half of sickness it'll probably come and go in the next few few weeks as it normally does with me so bear with me with videos and photos and updates and all that stuff but as soon as I'm well enough I'll get out and get a lot more there's your fire and rescue fire brigade Yeah, if you have any photos, 
up-to-date photos, old photos, photos of plaques or different things around inside, outside of buildings, uh, creeks, rivers, wherever around. Feel free to put them on old and new Innisfil photos. I notice that people off the old and new Innisfil photos group are putting photos of plaques and things like that on other groups. They're not contributing to my group. I put a lot of effort into my group and uh, I'm noticing that yeah, people are just putting everything on other groups and not on mine so it'd be nice if you could put some on mine it would really help me out a lot if you see anything old like an old plaque or uh, anything really anything G-rated old and new or you've got some old photos and this file and that feel free to put them on yeah, old and new in file photos just make sure that you agree to the terms and conditions basically the rules because Facebook will not let me um, will not let me accept the friend request or the group request without that if you just leave it blank it uh, automatically gets rid of it Give it a look Let's see it bit more done than when I last come along here. Got a lot more done to it, which is great. There was all exposed pipes and stuff last time, so you'll see that in the last update video. I'm about to cut the sound with all this noise up here. The music and that. Crossover. Intoxicated people. Common sense. Okay. Yeah, very unkept along here. Well, no, it used to be quite nice. Let's see. There's, there were things down here people were complaining about at one stage. Little glass everywhere. Every time it rained, you'd see glass in certain spots. See it was still there. Bear with me if I have to cut the sound for copyright reasons and that. But apparently along where there's a bit of a pathway and all that now. There was all glass. Every time it rained, glass was showing up. A few people put it on Facebook. So we'll see if it got cleaned up. Near the skate park. I don't know why they don't put in just proper concrete paths. They're a lot safer. A lot less hassle. Well, I'm not seeing any glass. But I don't know exactly where to look, I think. Don't know if it's along here or somewhere else in this particular spot. If anyone knows, let me know in the comment section. I don't see any. And any around here. This is opposite the hospital next to the skate park. You can see how overgrown all that is behind me here. It used to be so beautiful along here, but yeah, it needs to be cleaned regularly. And where the toilets looked quite dirty and not looked after. The grass is unkept. And all that, so let's have a look back down. And see what it's like. Um, why? Hey, how you going? Good, thanks. Yeah. Is it hot enough for you? Hot enough for you? Getting hotter, eh? Yeah. <laughs> oh, mate. Known him, known him since he was a little, little boy. He's all grown up now. But yeah, look at all this. So it needs a good trimming back, some of it. Just the grass and everything too. Be a lot nicer. Got the medical and skin cancer surgery across there. Dr. De Palma. 
You can see across where we were just were before. See, these are the bins they're putting in. This is what they're doing. They're taking away like two or three, four, four or five bins and just putting in these. Now, these are, of course, these are going to overflow. The council told me themselves that's what they're doing in an email. And I asked about it. That's just these little things. Which, of course, locals will just come and fill up with their own garbage from home, sadly. Look how overgrown the yep, this looks. Along here. So. Yeah, that's one thing. Because they did a survey about revitalising the CPD. And this is the one thing they need to do look after the garden. Keep it mowed. Make sure it's pressure washed regularly. Even the tables and chairs, the, the cement, buildings. Everything as much as possible. Well kept. One thing I'll give this place, it's always fairly well kept. And it's all seafood, like the yard. And so far this rain and horn's been well well looked after where the daycare center used to be. Just closed down for years. Nothing there for years. Yeah, hopefully this all gets get looked after. The lighting's really nice at night too on the pathway. I don't know if anyone's gone past and really had a look at it. My cameras don't really handle night time too much. They lose quality. So I haven't really got night time, too many night time videos around town. The Imperial Tavern across there. Used to be a nice tree along here they got rid of. So I used to get plenty of photos off. They did have really nice yellow flowers on it certain times of the year. I like when they used to have um, like fairy light type things on along here on the trees. Just like Clan Larry they had them. That was really nice. Yeah, you can see where the tree was here. Yeah, there might have been a reason why they removed them. Might have been rotten or whatever, I don't know. But yeah, it was quite nice. But when they had the fully mature trees, big ones along here, they had all those lights. Look really nice. Okay. Sorry if the quality of the collines it gets darker. There's more shadows. Got a coffee club. Thai restaurant. There's another one of those bin setups. Jack Fossey Park. Time capsule along there. Okay, we'll keep going straight ahead. Jack Fossey Park sign. Be nice if they put that pebble creek stuff all the way along here, all the way along on the other side of the road, down either street, no one street, both sides, and both sides of Rankin Street. They've got it in front of the short hall on that side, the National Bank and all that side, but no further. War Memorial stuff. Showing that in full detail in other videos. We'll just go past. All this needs to be cleaned regularly. There's not nice places to sit due to that. I kept this bin in there. Yeah, there's still a bin in there. Needs to be clean. This doesn't look very inviting to the town to come into town and see it all dirty and yuck. Uh, apparently they've started the pump truck at Arena Lakes. It's started to be built. I've seen photos of it. The council's put up. So we'll go and get photos of that one day. Okay, we'll have to stop the video for a sec, I think, because the kids are coming along.
So this is back where we were before, the Riverside Car Park, where they've removed the very nice plants. They need to fix all this up, as you can see. Show future generations to see what it was like down here. So dangerous. I have reported it on the snap sense all about multiple times. I've never done anything about it. It gets quite slippery along here. Big shout out to that guy for giving me weird looks for recording video. Really appreciate it. <laughs> Sarcasm. Oh, it's all good, whatever. I'm whatever with people like that. Right. Doing my best for the town, showcasing it, the good and the bad. The rough with the smooth, all that sort of stuff. my videos as positive as possible but when there's negatives like rubbish around and things like that I will point it out because my videos are recorded for history so that us and future generations can see what it was like here at this particular time in life the water's nice and clean in here today given that it's supposed to have been done up a bit so revitalised had some maintenance done on it. I was closed off for a little while. <laughs> you notice parts of it have been painted, but parts haven't. You can see here, paint chipped off it, but this is all being painted. These parts are meant to look like cave. I don't think it's finished. You can see there, it's not finished. So hopefully they'll come back and fix that up. Hopefully those lights get put on at night shining onto it. It does look really nice when it's just lit up and working properly. Alrighty, let's go on to the next location, see if we can find anything else, any other changes. Cane Cutter Hotel. Apparently it's back in back in use. Yeah, it's across that Alberts we went past before. Before I get some old pizza in that. See across to there. Hopefully it shows up. Then Arcadian. I don't know if this is still open. I don't think it is. I don't see it open and it's very dirty. Unmaintained and all that. It's got arcade machines and stuff in it. I don't know if they're still in there. Yep. Stuff's still in there. Quick look so you can see a bit of detail. As much as we can. Okay, the Arcadian sign just to show what was in there. Going up, we'll might have a quick look at the old Ant and see what they've done. Last time I looked, it was pretty well gutted. Things were getting done, it was open. You can see that in videos. Look at the update videos, they're the other ones to show all that. Yeah, the sun's in the wrong direction. We'll mosey on. These are the new bin enclosures they've put in around. Art Deco style things. The old ANZ. Oh, you can see they've done more to where the ATM used to be. reflection. So we'll have a look. So we've taken away one of the old seats. One of the old seats is still there. So you see the new Art Deco seating. Art Deco design on it. And the old seats. Yes. Wow, we've got a lot more inside the Talos come in. Okay, well we're going over for the main part. 
show what's happening, what we can see anyway. There's so much you can see with reflections and through the dirty glass. Little bricks and stuff on the floor in there. Wow. Do you think that was the ANZ bank for all those years? It closed down last year, March last year. And this is the advertising they put up about it. People to lease it. 746 metres squared available. 21 car parks, basement car parking. Yeah. It's a piece of the census stuff, 23rd to the 26th of March, 2023. So that's coming up this month. Pause to read it. Pause to check out the QR code. Yeah, see there's a water in there. The old ads are back. More advertising. More this and that. Yeah, this was open one day and I just put the camera in. And then like one of the other videos. More of the new art that's seating around here. They are a lot more comfortable, notice that, and I think they'd be easier to clean. Just looks like they would be. You know, I'll some of that signage, I'm trying to show across there. Heron Beauty, where Antoine used to be. Okay, well. I think that'll be it. That's all the changes that I can do. Oh no, there's one coming up or we'll keep recording until we get up to it. Okay. See if something's closed off up here. There's a bit of a barricade around it. And this is where they moved the ANZ ATM to. Smart ATM. Pop with that. So this is next to, let's say, Rockman's and Ursula's Relaxation and Beauty. And there's where the books are used to be, which is fully gutted now. Don't know if I've shown that properly in a video. It's fully gutted, you can see all the way through the back now. I'll show this little bit here, while we're here. That's all about. I'll be holding it up. Yeah, they have any issues there too. Like the other lot. Not to worry. All this stuff needs to be maintained regularly. We will end up having to collapse on, on somebody. There's the Malik Centre. But we'll go up and show the next bit. And that'll be it. Where Tori's Pharmacy used to be. In the Kodak shop and all that. Kodak shop was here. Oh, well, they had their, their um, photo place next door. It wasn't the actual Kodak store, because the Kodak store was in Owen Street. But here's um, the stuff happening outside the forest and that. The scaffolding we showed earlier in the other side of the road. They do it up quite nice with the flowers and that. I'll give them that. And in uh, around Valentine's Day, they had um, fairy lights and stuff out here, which looked nice. Rothney's Pharmacy, the old signage, hopefully that gets saved. over. Thanks for watching.
feel free to like, share, comment, subscribe. Helps the channel out, helps with the algorithm. Other than that, check out old and new winners for photos on Facebook. Submit your own photos. Feel free, anything G rated from the Binder to Cardwell. Follow the rules, all good. Thanks for watching. This is Bestest Times, keeping memories alive.